Man had a spider in his mouth, and it was still alive. Just now, firefighters got a call. A man's tongue suddenly got really big. He could barely breathe. At first, the firefighters thought it was food poisoning. Then they shined a flashlight into the man's throat and saw the spider in his mouth. They had to use tongs to pull the spider out. But the man's tongue was still swollen, and his blood pressure was dropping. He must have been bitten by the spider. So, the firefighters took out some adrenaline. After one shot, the man finally could breathe again and his tongue got smaller. Are you scared of spiders? The firefighter pulls up his sleeve, suddenly freezes. The man's bone is sticking out. When asked, they find out the man had just been skateboarding. He accidentally fell down the stairs. Right then, the firefighter notices the man has no pulse in his hand. They have to set the bone right here, or he won't make it to the hospital. The man agrees. But even with the pain shot, when the firefighter gets to work, the bone was set back in place. But the man's throat was torn from screaming. Have you ever broken a bone? The old man is a racist. He'd rather die from sickness than accept help from a black person. Today is the funeral of a hero. And since the hero is black, a group of racists is protesting at the funeral. Not only that, they also want to break into the graveyard, as he see a black cop trying to stop them. Where your black brothers have been duly incarcerated. But karma comes quickly. The old man suddenly starts coughing hard and then collapses. A black cop goes to help him but gets pushed away. When other firefighters arrive, the captain notices the old man has a colostomy bag, which might be backflow, and he needs a tube inserted right away. But as soon as he sees the firefighters are black, the old man refuses help again. It isn't until his condition worsens and he faints. The firefighters finally get him onto the ambulance. Do you think the old man needed to go this far? ATM spitting out cash crazily. Traffic lights were flashing uncontrollably, and the streets were in chaos. A driverless car barreled toward the woman. It turned out hackers had just invaded Los Angeles, causing a blackout and taking control of the AI, which plunged the entire city into crisis. They kidnapped the city and demanded a hefty ransom. Even crazier, the animals from the zoo were released, starting to attack pedestrians. One man had his ear bitten by a llama, even facing a docile llama. The firefighter was scared. The captain instructed the woman to lure the llama with snacks while he dragged the man outside. But then, her alarm suddenly went off drawing the llama's attention. It even called over its sisters. Seeing this, they had no choice but to run. Go, 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 go! Firefighters were doing CPR on a man, but it made more fluid leak from the wound on his chest. If they stopped, he would die right there. What would you choose? This morning, the man was teaching his daughter how to use a nail gun, but accidentally shot himself in the chest. When firefighters arrived, they quickly cut open his shirt and found the nail was just one millimeter from his heart. Fluid had already built up in his chest, so they needed to go to the hospital to drain it. But before they got there, the man passed out. Firefighters put an oxygen mask on him and started CPR. They brought back his heartbeat, but got sprayed with red fluid. As long as they could get him to the hospital, it would all be worth it. In a daring quest for excitement, this couple clandestinely perched on a fire truck. Unbeknownst to the rescue team just starting the engine, the two embarked on a reckless and passionate display. This is gonna be so much better than a plane. Everybody does plane. Suddenly, a member of the team heard a noise but thought little of it, and the group resumed their casual conversation. At that moment, the team leader received a new rescue mission and swiftly ordered a dash to the rescue site. As the fire truck accelerated, the couple on the roof grew more exhilarated, continuing their daring antics. The strange noises once again reached the ears of the team, leaving them puzzled as they looked up at the roof. By this time, the vehicle had reached a left turn, and the man was flown off due to inertia. The rescue team hastily stopped the truck to assess the situation, and tried trying to ascertain where he had flown from. After a perplexed search, they climbed onto the truck and peeked their heads in, only to discover the woman hiding on the roof. A woman was pierced through the neck by an arrow, but strangely, there was no blood at the wound. Firefighters hurriedly brought a stool to examine her, but the woman remained surprisingly calm, scolding her two children nearby. It turns out, just moments ago, the woman was picking peaches in her backyard when a baseball suddenly flew by striking her beloved doll. Out of frustration, she confiscated the mischievous kid's baseball. In no time, they found a new toy, a specially designed crossbow. However, 
when the firefighters arrived, they discovered that the arrow had hit a lump. So, they asked the woman when she had last seen a doctor, to which she replied, I don't do doctors. If there's nothing wrong with you when you go in, there will be when you come out. The team doctor quickly voiced his hypothesis, suggesting that the reason they were repeatedly struck by arrows was because something was obstructing them. I think it's a tumor. A, t a tumor? Mm -hmm. As in a cancer tumor? Am I gonna die? Actually, if you get it treated, chances are you'll be just fine. A woman finds herself trapped with her face covered in solidified wax. She's unable to breathe, and a man steps in to soothe her, prioritizing her need for air. As the tension builds, a team member wields a surgical scalpel, delicately slicing away the wax adhered to her mouth. They use a device to secure her tongue, only to discover that the wax has completely sealed her esophagus. They insert a flexible tube, fasten an oxygen mask, and at last, the woman can breathe again. She's rushed to the hospital. It turned that during a beauty treatment at a salon when a nearby wax container suddenly unleashed its contents, leaving the woman in peril. The doctor actually pulled a fish out of the dude's bladder. Just a moment ago, the dude came in complaining of severe pain in his lower region. When he took off his pants, the doctors were completely shocked. Fix this. No, it's not grapefruits. The doctors had to send him for a CT scan. To their astonishment, they found a fish in his bladder. This is a kangaroo fish. Fish? This guy has the fish. In his... in his... After further questioning, they knew the dude had gone swimming in the Amazon River a few days ago, and he couldn't hold it and peed, which attracted the fish and caused it to swim back up into his urethra. So this thing is now in, in your black well, right next to it. It's stuck in your uh, prosthetic urethra, which is causing the obstruction. We need to get it from you before it causes sepsis and more sepsis. You mean I could die? An astronaut called 911 from outer space. He wasn't calling for help. He just wanted to talk to his wife and daughter. Just moments ago, a once-in-a-century solar storm swept across the Earth. The intense radiation instantly claimed everyone's life. Only the man remained. He was initially trying to contact the command center, but the solar storm interference connected him to 911. The man pleaded with the operator to help dial his wife's number. Melissa! Tom? Melissa, I don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen, okay? Then, the man hurriedly gave his wife his bank card pin. She instantly understood what had happened. Yep. Come say hi, honey. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Evie. I missed you. I missed you too, baby. When are you coming home? I'd give anything on earth to be down there with you right now. You know that, right? So funny. Evie, can you make me a promise? I promise you'll do whatever mommy says. We'll always give her a hand when she needs help. I promise. Good. I want you to know I love you both so much. More than anything. Mommy's crying. I'm not. I'm not crying. Look out the window. And wave up at the sky. <laughs> Why? I can't see you. But I can see you. I want you to know I'll always be up here. Looking over you, okay? Yes, Dad. I'm waving. I'm waving back. The man's life came to its final moment. He could no longer hear his daughter's call. The man was cut into two by the car crash. Can you believe he was still alive? Just moments ago, the man planned to surprise his son on his 10th birthday by dressing up as his son's favorite Terminator character. Unfortunately, his son was ill, had to stay in the hospital. With a striking resemblance to the Terminator, he caught the eye of a beautiful woman nearby, and he politely waved in response. However, passerby to call for help, and the arriving firefighters were astonished by what they saw. At this moment, the man, though cut in half, astonishingly was still able to speak. He still thought about heading home soon. His son was eagerly awaiting his return for a birthday surprise. He asked when he could leave, but just then, his phone rang. It was his son calling. He excitedly showed off the car to his son. Hey buddy. Hey pal. 
Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm late. I know. I'm trying. I'm tr yeah, I got it. I got it, like we said. 96 twin cam engine. Yeah. 1,560 cc's cherry red. Oh, it's bad. It's bad, just like the one we saw online. Oh, cooks, buddy. I was hauling a pound needle like a badass. Like a real health angel. Your old dad was like a new man, buddy. I'm telling you. Uh, hey, and don't tell mom. This thing is chick magnet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm on top of the world, pal, but let me tell you something. I would have felt just as good if I was on a 10 speed bike. Because I knew I was coming home to you. I love you, son. <laughs>